If you are a proactive student or you are a freelancer, one thing you do all the time is to network with people, communicate with people, schedule meetings with people. But somehow this important task ends up being repetitive. You might get bored. You might end up doing a bunch of things over and over again, talking to people, replying to the same message, typing out the same thing over and over again. But what if I tell you that there's a way in which you can avoid all of this hassle and focus on doing your creative work. So I'll be talking about a tool that will help you save time and get more work done. Make sure that you hit the like button and this amazing tool is called as Text Blaze. With the help of Text Blaze, you can save time by using snippets. Instead of typing out the whole thing, you can use snippets so that you don't need to type things again and again. Let me show you exactly how this works. It's very easy for you to install. You can simply just go to blaze.today and then you just need to click on download extension. When you do that in Chrome Web Store, you just need to click on add to Chrome and you can add this extension right here. Now, when you first log in on text place, this is the kind of screen that you will see. It's very simple to use. You simply need to go and add a new snippet. Let's just say that you want to schedule a meeting with someone. Okay. Whenever you're talking with someone on email, they might say that, yes, we want to discuss this further. Then you start try typing. Okay. Thanks a lot for reaching out. Here is my link. It takes a lot of time. How can you reduce that? You simply need to go here. Let's just say that the shortcut that you will use will be called as SM. And here you can say, Hey, you can paste your Calendly link right there and people can schedule meetings with you with the help of this snippet. Let me show you how this works. Simply just go in here. Let's just say that you want to schedule a meeting with Jeff at amazon.com, right? Because why not? Imagine you're talking with someone on email and you need to schedule a meeting with them. Just say forward slash SM and that's your shortcut. With the help of this, you have your email right here. Let's say some task has urgently come up and you want to reschedule a meeting with someone. You can simply do that with the help of this snippet. You can just say, you can change the shortcut and you can make it, for example, remeet. Okay. And then you can simply just say, hey, Once this is done, you can simply just reply to someone by using this shortcut and then they can reschedule a meeting. Let's say you're a freelancer and someone asks you for all the packages and the services that you provide. We can do that easily over here. You can simply just go in, you can say services, shortcut can be service and you can say, hey. And once that is completed, you can simply just do service and your entire email will appear right in front of you. It saves you time and you can focus on doing your creative work. But now let's say you want to also include some dynamic content and you can do that very easily with the help of text place. Let me show you how that works. So let's say you also want to include the name of that person. Let's say Raj has emailed you. So you want to include their name as well. You can do that very well with the help of dynamic content as you can see right here. Okay. So how to do that? You can just get in here in forms and dynamic content, you can click on text field right here. Okay. And that's how you will get text field over here. And then you can just say service. It will ask you what is the name of that person. You enter that and easily you'll be able to make your email. But let's say you also want to reuse the name of that person. You can do so by providing the name over there, right? So let me give you another example. Let's say you go again over here, you click on text field and in the field name you enter let's say recipient and then you can include this name anywhere on the email that you want automatically, right? So you can just go over here and we can say recipient and that's how easy it is for you to do this. If I go back, I can simply just say service. I can enter something like, you know, Raj. And as you can see, Raj name automatically appears over here as well. So that's how easy it is for you to automate all of the emails that you're trying to send to someone. The best part is this not only works on Gmail, this works across all the websites as long as you are in the browser. You can also enter dynamic dates. So for example, we are here in rescheduling a meeting. So first of all, I'll enter the name of this person by just going over here. I'll enter their name by saying recipient. I can just say reschedule the meeting after and I can provide a date over here, right? So this date can be anything that I want. You can provide the current date as well. So that would basically just mean that after today, they can reschedule whenever they want want to. So I can enter that full date over here, right? So if you just try this out over here, we can just say forward slash remit. And then I can just say Raj. And as you can see, this will say you can reschedule the meeting after December 15, 2021. This might look a little odd to you. So you can change this as well. If you want to, you can go back over here and you can change the format of this time dynamic content. Okay. So you can just say, first of all, I want on today's date. So we can just include this date and then we can include 
the month okay the short month and you can just say remit i will just say raj or rak whatever it is and you can see that now it says 15 december of course we can include a space over there as well so we can put up a space over here right i hope you're able to understand there's a lot more that you can do with the help of text blaze you can check out the documentation that they have and with that you can understand all the different tools and tricks that they have with which you can get your tasks automated all the things which you are doing again and again can be done automatically with the help of text play so that you can focus on doing what is truly important to you you can also check out their tutorial videos on youtube and with that you can easily understand how it all works you can do a lot more with the help of dynamic content as you can see over here you can enter the current date in different formats you can enter the time as well along with the date you can enter some changes in the date that you currently have so date in one day would basically be 16 december right now i'm recording the video on 15th of december right so that's basically how that works you can click on date in one week then that, that would exactly be one week from today's time so various modifications can be done over here as you can see you can also insert content you can also place your cursor if you want to forms and dynamic content we've already seen this before you can use text field paragraph field and other options available right here you can use drop down menu field as well toggle field and a bunch of other things right now look some of these features are pro based that means that you need to have the pro plan the pro plan just costs three dollars fifty cents per month and i think it's worth it for someone who is a professional if you want you can also enter some folders if you want to keep everything organized like this new folder and you can call this maybe work and then you can start including snippets over here as well okay so that's how easy it is for you to use text plays and automate the boring stuff and focus on doing your important tasks you can start using it for free with the link in the description let me know what you think about this whole video if you have any questions about the same if you enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe share this video with a friend of yours and if you're still watching just say i watch till the very end in the comment section huge shout out to text place for collaborating with me on this video do try it out and let me know what you think about this you can also check out this video in which i've talked about 13 helpful apps that you can use if you are a student or if you are a working professional. That's it. You can check out my Instagram as well as Twitter. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.